Today we're going to change the oil on a 2010 Honda Odyssey. Alright, I recently made a video of how to do the seafoam treatment. What I did was throw some on the engine oil case through the rest into my gas tank. I did the spray up on top as well. So that way my lifters, my rockers, everything is nice and clean. So is the engine oil case, uh, everything inside there, the valves, pistons, everything. Uh, so yeah, this thing has a uh, full system cleanup. Uh, I even threw some Shell V power. That's what I use on my Civic. Uh, I can feel the difference on that gasoline. And yeah, threw some of that on this one to clean it up, clear up his guts, clear up his throat. And uh, <laughs> it does a lot better. So uh, we just got back from uh, Riverside and San Diego, went to Legoland. We put like 600 miles on the vehicle. Uh, since I did this and it's time to change the oil oil looks dirty and it Looks a little watery and that's because of the uh, solution that I put in there, but look it looks pretty pretty filthy looks okay uh, Hopefully it did a good job in cleaning that It's the whole purpose why I am doing this video to see if it really made a change um, the oil is dirty, but I feel it a little bit thinner um, so we're going to go ahead and lift the car up, jack it up, and we'll see how dirty the oil comes out. All right, so on these Honda Odysseys, you have a jack point right in the front, and there it is. Right here. So we're going to go ahead and jack the car up from that point. All right, once you have the car elevated, please always use jack stands. Uh, you don't want this car falling on you. In case these little pistons give out, little hydraulic pistons, these right here, <laughs> you want to make sure that uh, you're nice and safe. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, I have my dirty ass oil pan in place, it's okay, don't need to be clean, I'm not going to eat off of it, and there's our screw. Uh, we're going to be using a 14 millimeter to get this one out and it's just going to be right there just ah, there it is going to drive that all the way out all right once you knock this loose you should be able to take it off by hand next thing you want to do is just align your pan Take off the bolt. Don't want to drop the bolt either. So you want to make sure you're holding it with at least three fingers. Here we go. Boom. That oil is black. Look at that. It's runny too. It's good. That means everything is being cleaned up. All right, so we'll let that drain for a little bit. All right, it's almost finished. We're gonna go ahead and let that finish dripping. Uh, while I was waiting, grabbed myself a shop rag and cleaned up the plug. This little piece is a magnet, so it catches all loose metal, metal shavings that are inside. So it'll be good to clean that out. All right, so while we're waiting for that, we're gonna go ahead and remove this filter. All right, so I like to cut a little piece of cardboard and place it like that. That way it could just drip into here and not into the subframe. Uh, so let me go ahead and loosen that up. I just wanted to mock this up real quick to show you guys and let's go for it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just hand loosen it up. All right, there it is. Go ahead and put my little cardboard back into place. Might need both hands real quick. All right, as you can see, it's starting to leak out. 
so I just gotta open it more. The more open, the faster it comes out. So we'll just go ahead and let that finish off and then we'll take everything off and then just dump it in here. All right, and there it is. Everything is just dripping off. I'm just holding this in place so it doesn't fall off. Well, wow, everything drips down here. Yeah, boy. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is replace the old filter with a new one. Just gotta go to the store and get it real quick. All right, I got the oil and I got the filter. So now, everything should be pretty dry up here. Been letting everything dry. Eh, there's still drops going. No one's gonna drop right now. There it goes. And this one over here too. <laughs> but most of the oil is out. So now we're gonna screw in our new oil filter. All right, what I do is I just grab a little bit of oil and just rub it all on the rim. Sorry, kind of hard to do with one hand. Anyways, you get the idea. Get this plastic piece, plastic cardboard piece out of there. And we're gonna screw in the new filter. All right. All right. Uh, also, you wanna make sure that the old filter is not oil filter seal is not stuck onto the metal uh, this one wasn't but just want to remind you to make sure that that should be off all right now that we have everything off uh, or put back together not everything we're just gonna put this screw back in here there it is don't force it you don't want to mess up the threads. All right, and we're just gonna tie it down a little bit. If I could find my tool. All right. Ah, that's good enough. Not too tight. Just perfect. All right, now we're gonna add the oil. All right, next thing you're gonna wanna do is remove floor jacks and lower the vehicle slowly. You can do it with both hands. All right, next thing we're gonna do is remove the oil cap. If you actually remove the oil cap before you drain the oil, that helps it breathe and drain a lot faster. Uh, you could do that, or you can't. I don't mind waiting. And we're just gonna clean, clean this funnel up real quick. All right, just put it into place. Oh gosh, funnel, thank you. Alrighty, you just wanna pour all of your oil in there carefully. Make sure you don't drop into the exhaust. All right, I usually throw five full quarts onto this van. My brother says it only takes like four and a half, I think. But I always do the five. It's okay. A little bit too much, it ain't gonna do nothing. And the Oyo is so clear, you can't see nothing. But there's oil on there. clear you can't even see it though but that is how you change the oil in the 2010 Honda Odyssey now we just got to clear out the monitor real quick all right the way you do that is you place the key in turn it on into accessories the second one all right and now what we're gonna do is oil life's at 30 we're gonna go ahead and hold this for 10 seconds. All 
All right, there it is, it's flashing. You're gonna let go of the button. So now you're gonna hold it down for another one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, should be five seconds, but I guess six seconds. And there your oil life is back at 100. Sweet. And that is how you do a oil change on a 2010 Honda Odyssey. Oh, and we used the seafoam treatment. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.